Hey everybody, good to see you my dear friends. Now, I have something very special for you. It's it's sweet and romantic and it's a it's a it's an Oreo gift box for that very very special and sweet gift that you want to give to somebody special. Open up and oh, it's so cute. It's a ring and it's pink. And look, there's a little red thing here with a paint pink inside. And I put, put the ring back in. And now let me show you what you need to make this very special Oreo gift box. You will need two toilet rolls and they need to fit into each other like this. Then you will need some brushes and some paints. Um, a ruler is always good. Pencil, marker perhaps, but definitely the pencil. A piece of cardboard, bit of sandpaper, and uh, a cutting knife. Anything else? No, nah, I think that's about, oh, glue! <laughs> glue. Now, come on closer. I'm gonna show you how to do this. We start with our two toilet rolls, cutting them in half. So cut half, cut half. So the big toilet roll you have here, it's a half. And then the small half you paint white so that you end up with this. So that's what you start with. The big half and the small half. Okay, the big half you cut two uh, circles out of uh, cardboard and glue them one to the top one to the bottom so you put glue and you stick it on and let it dry and then you end up with a drum such as this and then you take your knife and then you you clean off excess cardboard such as this you see the little edge sticking out there you cut that off so that your drum becomes nice and smooth all around here we also need a bit of sandpaper to sand so that the whole thing becomes smooth and nice all around. Can you see that? Okay, now this barrel you take a bit of brown paint like this, get your brush out and this is pre-mixed brown, dark, very very dark brown, sort of dark chocolatey brown and then we paint it you have to paint it two times so you take we put it on one layer you let it dry and then you paint again until it's totally dark and brown like this that's what you need while this one is drying let's have a look at the the white half the white half you cut into these pieces you need one piece that is 2 cm wide roughly and then you need two pieces that are 7 millimeters wide uh, roughly so two of the 7 millimeter and one of the 2 cm wide ring that's what you need to cut out of this one okay so that's what you have to work with next we need to open this up and the bits are 8 millimeters wide so from the edge we measure 8 millimeters on this side and eight millimeters on the other side there two marks there then I'm using my secret uh, toilet roll uh, ruler I wrap it around uh, the barrel until I get to the the mark and I make sure that it's even all around you see it's meeting there so it's even all around then I'm I draw the line there so we get an eight millimeter slice here and then I do the same thing on the other side okay there's the mark like that making sure it's even all around I make the mark there now we got two slices okay so we open up the barrel by cutting along the two lines I cut nice and slowly don't rush myself always cutting away from my fingers and then I just cut as many times as I need uh, in order to get through the, um, and the cardboard barrel. There. Nice. Okay. Then the other side. Nice. Okay. So now we have these two slices. Then we need to um, 
sand them just a little bit. I'm going to nip a little piece of the sandpaper, make it easier to sand inside these little lids here. Okay, so we need to have a nice, even and smooth edge. Nice one. Okay, the other one. Nice. Two really nice and neat uh, lids. Then we take the pieces that we cut out of the, the white uh, half. So you see this one goes inside here. That's what becomes the uh, Oreo cookie. But you see there is a bit of slack here. Can you see that? Because this ring is bigger than this one. So there's a bit of slack. So we need to um, fill um, the, the gap so that, you know, the, so that it looks good along the edge here. That's what we need these two little rings for. So first we open them up. That means we just cut them open like that, like this. And then we fit one inside here. So you see it goes inside here. Then we need some glue. So you need to fair amount of glue along the wall of this lid. And then you pop it in. You push it towards the edges so that it's nice and tight along the edge. And then just wipe off the excess glue in there. Then this one needs to fit into here, but there is a bit of slack in here as well. So we need to put this inside. Then you pop the ring in. Then just like the other one, you squeeze it against the sides so that it's nice and tight and fits really well. Wipe the excess glue and then check if this fits inside. Yes, it does. It's a beautiful fit. So let's glue this in right away. Even more glue on the outside of the, uh, the first ring. And then this one goes inside. Position it right in the middle. There. Now these two parts need to dry before we continue. Next I switch to a smaller brush. Uh, I bring back the dark chocolate paint and I fix up the edges. You see now we need to uh, chocolate up the, uh, the edges here that are, that are just cardboard and not painted yet. So I'm a bit careful not to spill too much onto the, the white surface next to it. And then on the lid as well, there. On the inside and on the white part, we fresh up with pure uh, white. And then of course, when the brown is dry, you check that if you have spilled anything, you just fix that up. Otherwise give uh, an extra coat of white paint also on the edge of this, uh, this uh, little stripe. Uh, so that everything is pure and white and then you carry on inside the whole thing providing the uh, the glue is all dried of course on mine it's not totally dry but I'm gonna show you anyway so you paint the inside everything totally white same thing on the lid paint the whole inside white and then we get to the edge you just go like this you go straight up out like this so that you get a white inside all around without touching the edge, which is brown. Then you end up with this. Beautiful white on the inside and all around and then brown on the outside. Now this is our starting point to finish the painting. Then I bring in pink and I paint the inside of uh, everything pink. You can of course choose whatever color you like, uh, purple or brown or yellow or whatever you like. Uh, I think pink and brown is really beautiful together. When you do the, the edge here, you go out like this, out like this, out like this, straight out, straight out, straight out. Then uh, you get the side without touching the edge. There. Right, now it looks like this. And then we are ready for the, to decorate the Oreo lid. For that, we need small brushes like this. And I have mixed a uh, lighter brown. There's a little bit of brown color here, you see. This is just light enough to show against 
the the brown the dark brown of the of the oreo lid now if you look at this you need to be uh, really neat when you uh, do this i usually start with the uh, name in the middle like that really small and then a ring around it now the actual cookie is really detailed so we can't bring in all these details but we can just put in as many as uh, as it's possible in the space that we have then comes these little triangles so there's one little triangle up here one on this side and then one on this side and this side and then one in the middle all around so here here and here next comes all the little um the little stripes along the edge go straight out straight out like a sundial keep on turning the cookie as you go and then these stripes also continue down along the side here so you gotta match these stripes to a little uh a small stripe down on the side now you may have to touch up a little bit if there is uh, like a line that you know isn't nice enough or isn't strong enough you may want to touch it up uh, a little bit uh, otherwise it's ready to go let's dry it a little bit before we put the two together when everything is dry you may want to give your cookie a little bit of lacquer a clear layer of lacquer the reason is that it will protect your box and also make the dark chocolate color really come out uh, well look at this you know one when, once i put it on looking really bright and more tasty than before and when it dries it will look even better in fact it will look just like this my original box so this is what it looks like you open it up nice and beautiful inside you can add in any kind of uh, cushioning for your gift you know in this case it's just a little piece of a napkin a paper napkin put it in there you put your gift inside now here in here you can really be creative you pop the lid on and uh, off you go to your uh, special friend oh it's so cute i wish i could eat it